There's a lot of buzz about the new kid in town, Microsoft Loop. Some have described it as a Notion-like clone with three elements that they have added into it, thus making it a direct competitor to Notion. So, in today's video, we will dive deeper into what it is, why it's important to Microsoft, what are the similarities and differences with Notion, and how it can help you in your overall workflow. Let's dive right in. Microsoft Loop is a collaborative canvas to bring documents, business information, and team working components together. At the center of Microsoft Loop is the need to collaborate and share within teams through content, documents, chats, insights, and information. The theme is connection everywhere. This connects different silos created with different products like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Teams, Microsoft Dynamics, using AI algorithms that surface relevant business needs at the right time. Loop has been designed with three core elements, workspaces, pages, and components. And this is where its similarity to Notion is striking, which is designed with a similar hierarchy. Microsoft is putting in all its energy into unifying its cloud-based platform Microsoft 365, which offers a monthly subscription-based offering. In order to keep and grow revenue on its Microsoft 365 platform, it needs to get closer to business and team-based needs. Over the last 24 months, the world has needed collaboration and flexibility more than ever, and apps like Zoom and Teams have been critical to such collaboration. Given that collaboration and flexibility are here to stay and the demands have not quite been fulfilled, people have looked into other no-code platforms like Notion and Slack to bridge that gap. Its mainstay apps like the Office Suite, Microsoft Dynamics and Teams have been embraced well, but the glue that connects these apps with each other seamlessly was missing. Microsoft started working on a fluid framework which it released this month as Microsoft Loop. This focus was to provide the ability to collaborate with real-time updated information like Office Docs, Notebooks, Files, Links, Whiteboards, etc. This provided the ability to present a single version of truth across the project team, which is a big thing for businesses. For the other players in the market, it provides opportunity for others to close the gap that Microsoft is working on. Loop's three core elements, workspaces, pages, and components, share similarities with Notion. Notion creates the ability for multiple workspaces with the ability to define pages and subpages in an infinite nested loop. Loop did not specifically talk about creating subpages within the Loop platform. Each component within Loop is called a block within Notion. Just like Notion, Loop seems to have some preset templates like task lists, marketing, creative briefs, mood boards, project status tracking, idea management. What is not known at this moment is the ability to create a fresh or customize these templates within Loop. Both offer the ability to create comments within each block, though it's more subtle in Notion, which I personally prefer. Both systems allow you to share workspace between different team members. Both provide for embeds, while Loop focuses on the Microsoft stack. Notion embeds the ones from Google Drive, Tweets, Google Maps, GitHub, Figma, InVision, Miro, Whimsical, Sketch, PDF, Excalibur, and more. Loop has the ability to embed live interactive blocks within its siloed applications. That updates the source similar to linked databases within Notion. The difference is that these interactive blocks provide the ability to interact right within the collaboration framework, which is not possible in Notion. Pages in Loop have components like interactive emails, voting tables, and Microsoft Teams, which combine the ability to collate choices, write emails from within, and freeform writing, like handwriting, which has been a request for new Notion features, but have not been provided yet. 
You may just go down the path of saying that Notion provides embeds, but then they are not interactive. Microsoft is seen as a multi-app environment providing critical solutions to businesses, which they now seek to integrate using a canvas called Loop. An example is how they look at Jira, Soho or SAP as being embedded and integrated into Loop. Notion on the other hand is a powerhouse with the ability to provide relations and rollups, linked databases, embeds, formulae, sync blocks, group by, and a huge range of API integrations, which is not yet there in Loop as I see it. Notion is seen as a single workspace that has the ability to receive information through APIs, which it can translate into its databases and embeds. We have not yet been able to see Loop in close quarters other than the demo videos and its performance in real world scenarios. So while the videos look great, we also need to look at this in terms of its ease of navigation and embedding. Loop's UI though seems very elegant and more refined in comparison to Notion. And some of the enhanced features using AI like context IQ driving sensitivity to what's happening is definitely leading edge. Since Loop will pull up stuff based on context and you can embed them into other applications, you can embed them inside of Outlook say when you are circulating the sales MIS. All corrections can be made during a call or a group chat and the information will be updated for everybody to see in real time. Extending this further, this becomes powerful when you're doing sales or project related brainstorming where information is whiteboarded and circulated even before the call ends. Notion is also focused on a collaborative, flexible, team-based framework and it's increasingly pushing onto the teams and the business side of things. If Notion can provide the ability for its blocks to be embedded as a two-way sync into third-party apps for collaboration in a wider manner than just Microsoft apps, using that famous API engine it just created, it will be able to bridge that functionality. Notion's current weakness is also performance where complex integrations using its current capabilities like embeds, formulae, rollups and relations is proving quite challenging. So by adding in another layer with another set of embeds, it will become resource hungry. Thirdly, Notion's weak point is also around nimble turnaround times for its new product initiatives. Notion also hasn't really wrapped its head around AI and context sensitivity in advanced team collaborative environments. Like when sales teams work on closing opportunity or when project overruns are being discussed to be fixed immediately. Notion may want to call out different business and team-based solutions like Salesforce, SAP or Microsoft Dynamics as a two-way sync and embed to find a way out. So Microsoft Loop has been teased and not released yet. Its focus has mainly been towards teams and businesses who will benefit from such integrations. Given the new features, it will warrant additional fees per integration that businesses require for Loop to function. So Notion has some time to plug in these gaps into the platform. Notion's other features are extremely powerful within the Notion ecosystem. So if you're a solopreneur, a small or a medium sized business. I see the new features from Notion helping customers stick to Notion, but then they need to catch up with some of the elements that Microsoft has put in new. And competition is actually quite healthy. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos.